Hello and welcome. In this presentation, I'll talk about how to organize TIBCO streaming configuration for use in multi-fragment, multi-project applications, and the considerations for managing configuration during individual development, JUnit testing, and production deployment. I'll use a simple multi-fragment project for illustration. First, let's talk about what configuration is stored in a project. As of this writing, there are 27 types of Hocon configuration file found in TIBCO Streaming 10.6. These have the file extension .conf. In all streaming project types, configuration may be in project folders, source main configurations, and source test configurations. The main and test folders are treated differently. Configuration files in source main configurations are compiled into the fragment archive and might be used when running tests if a same name test configuration does not exist. Configuration files in source test configurations are not compiled into the fragment archive and are used only when running tests by the tests that explicitly reference them. Projects come in two types, fragments and applications. Within an application, an event flow, live view, or Java fragment defines what runs in a single engine a node runs a single application which consists of all the fragments built into an application archive. Fragments may also provide reusable code used by other fragments and not be intended for their own engines. If an application project depends on a fragment project, that fragment project will become its own separate engine within the node. If a fragment is depended upon by another fragment, then it supplies code and resources for that other fragment, but will not become its own engine. If two separate fragments each depend on a third fragment, then the third fragment is included by each of the other fragments and will be duplicated in an application that depends on the two separate fragments. The differences in how configuration is used from main and test offer the following opportunities. Different tests may have different configuration of the same type, just with a different file name and a test expecting to use a configuration from main will instead use the same named configuration from test. During development, you'll want to run modules that may depend on specific configurations. When launching a module to run in the default container of a temporary workspace node, Studio uses the associated run configuration or creates a new run configuration if one does not already exist. You can view and edit any run configuration using menu, run, run configurations. On the main tab of the run configuration dialog for the selected configuration, the configuration files checkbox list identifies which specific Hocon configuration will be used for its launch. Here is where you can override the default use of files from source main configurations and instead select those from source test configurations. Although it appears you can select configuration from any open project in the workspace, the node enforces the scope to be limited to the main and test folders of the project containing the top-level module that is being launched. The run configuration for a JUnit test is more limited, and I'll talk about that next. During more formal unit testing using the JUnit framework, the Java tests select the specific configuration files needed by that set of tests. Although tests also have a run configuration, a test's configuration does not offer the opportunity to select different configuration files. The file selected is exclusively from the project containing the test and is identified by simple name. The name must be the simple file name, with no path, if the named configuration file is present in source test configurations, it will be used. If it is not found there, then it will use the configuration from source main configurations. If a file with the same name is found in both locations, then the one from source test configurations is used. Because tests run embedded in the JVM that was started to execute the JUnit framework, no further engine configuration is allowed that would supply JVM args, JVM tuning, and other configuration sections that would alter JVM options. These settings will cause the test to fail with several types of errors. Similarly, JUnit tests should not be performance and timing tests with production-sized memory requirements or dependencies on external system state. Each test 
should be able to run in a modest JVM and simply validate data correctness for a small number of modules. For these reasons, it makes sense to have separate test configurations in source test configurations different from those in source main configurations. More information about the run configuration for JUnit tests is available here under Editing Java Fragment Unit Test Run Configurations. To run the same JUnit test from the command line, use maven test with the test name, where test name is the name of the Java file and class name. Tests run from maven using the command line do not use a run configuration. Command line launch tests also prefer the named configurations from source test configurations, but will use source main configurations as a backup. The entirety of a deployment's configuration comes from the application zip archive and the additional epadmin install node parameters, including any node deploy configuration. Typical node installation parameters are these node name, the unique name of the node and its group and cluster membership, application, the built application archive, deploy directories, directories for additional JAR libraries and resources to be added to the JVM class path. Java environment, any operating system environment variables to be set within the node. Node deploy, the Hokon configuration file that selects which engines to run in each node by node type keyed by full node name. Substitution file, the Hokon substitution variable values from a property file. The node deploy configuration permits different selections of fragments from an application to run in each node of the cluster. Nodes do not have to all run the same fragments, but all the fragments must be from the same application archive. This is different from the event flow deployment configuration included in the application archive, which determines what event flow modules SB app files, from each stream-based fragment become top-level modules in their own stream-based containers within the stream-based engine. Stream-based containers run in their own thread and manage their own queues separate from other containers. Live view fragments process their lvconf files to determine what containers are started and do not need a deployment configuration. Java fragments have a single main class which determines what runs in the engine. Java fragments do not have containers. For production deployments, no configurations from source test configurations are ever included in the build from any project. All configurations visible to an engine are found in source main configurations. And this is an important point. All included configuration from fragments for an engine are merged in the deployment. The merge rules vary by configuration root object type. Configuration process last can override or merge with previously loaded and activated configuration, both at startup and later through administrative actions. Prior to Streambase 10.5, an engine was allowed only one engine configuration. This has been relaxed in 10.5, and all engine configurations available to an engine will attempt to be merged. This means that a utility fragments SB engine configuration may merge with the main fragments SB engine configuration without raising an error. If this is unexpected, this could lead to running with the wrong settings. To avoid unexpected configuration merging from multiple fragments, keep fragment configuration files in each fragment's source test configurations folder and copy these configurations into the application project's source main configurations folder only as needed for the final application. Configuration file file names are not semantically significant. Configuration files are semantically identified by the header. Configurations of the same type with different name properties will be loaded and active, but will not be merged and can be switched using a later administrative epadmin activate configuration command. Some configurations have an optional affinity setting associated with engines. This may be used to limit the scope of the configuration to specific engines. Use associated with engines when you find you need multiple configurations of the same type each related to different engines within the application. If you only have one engine, then you don't need to use the associated with engines setting. To set the associated with engines setting, you may determine the runtime engine name 
using the name result from running display engine. In summary, we've seen that configuration merges at runtime for each engine from its set of fragment projects source main configurations folder, that tests prefer configuration from source test configurations, and that test code from the studio run configuration can limit what configuration is seen and used for launches during development. Thank you for listening. Please leave any suggestions or comments here or visit our community site. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.